Hey guys, what's up? And uh, in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a login setup and use it on your iOS application with the help of Swift. So we will be writing in with a Swift 4 here. By the time of the recording of this video, Swift 4 is only the current version available at the moment. So basically, uh, we're going to create this application right now. I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. At the end of this video, you will know how to create a, your own a login as setup. So this will gonna look like this. So we're going to be simply uh, create a one button on the iPhone. So once the user taps on this button, so it's going to be display like this. Sign in with Google account or whatever it might be. The user have to enter the valid email address and the password. So once the uh, success credentials are encountered, and then it's going to show you like this, login success. So this can be done with the help of the UI alert controller. So without a further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and open the Xcode project. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this a previous project I have here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on the file, then click on new, and then click on uh, I think project. I have uh, mistakenly selected the workspace here. Click on the project and then uh, select the iOS single view application. Then click on next here. I'm going to name it as the al uh, alert. Uh, I'm going to simply say that login setup whatever it might be so you can also put the name product name whatever it might be and the organization identifier is going to be the reverse of the like it starts from the com dot your name and make sure that you select the language and click on next and I'm going to save it onto my desktop here so once you save it then we're going to be go ahead and directly click on the view control dot swift we're not going to be do anything with the main dot storyboard so we're going to be create the a button uh, from scratch without uh, touching the main dot storyboard file so let's go ahead and delete this code right into the view controller scene so i'm going to go ahead and write inside the view controller class first what we're going to do is we need to create a button so which is named as a login so for this uh, we're going to go ahead and create a closure with the name a button so it's going to be the ui button which is set to be the uh, uh, equals to ui button so then we're going to be go right inside that we're going to create a, a button with the help of the UI button opening closing parentheses we're going to be initialize it with the CG rect so this is going to be the uh, we're going to provide X values and Y values and I set this X value is going to be the 60 and Y value is going to be the 100 and the width is going to be the 250 and height is going to be the 45 and I need to rename it this closure I'm going to simply name it as a login button to make it simple and here I'm going to go ahead and return uh, this button Alright, so we're going to be go ahead and customize this button. So we need the background color of the button uh, to be going to be the red color. And we need to set the uh, button label is going to be the a uh, login. And the control set is going to be the normal. And we need to uh, show a uh, highlight it when we touch on that. We're going to set this to the true. And that's it. And we are done creating the button for now. Simply go ahead and right inside the view did load function we're going to go ahead and add this button to the view. So we're going to call this method called self.view.addSubView and then pass in the login button over here. So let's go ahead and run this code and to see that whether the button uh, is added to the view or not properly. So there we go. It's actually launching the uh, login setup. And now here you can see that a button somewhere on the screen. There we go. It's a red color. So right inside the center position, we click on the login. As you can see, whenever I taps on that, it's actually highlighted because we have set this shows touch when highlighted. So now we need to uh, add a selector function. A selector function is something like whenever we tap um, this login button. So we're going to go ahead and trigger the function. All right. So for this, we're going to go ahead and uh, call the method called add target on the button. So I'm going to go ahead and add target. So the target is going to be the self itself. And then the selector is going to be the, the function that we're going to create uh, in a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, name this function as has a login button pressed so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and the UI uh, control event is going to be the touch up inside so touch up 
inside when the user touches up inside the button so we're going to trigger this function named has login button pressed of course we haven't created yet that's why xcode is complaining so i'm going to go ahead and copy that name here and then i'm going to create with the help of the object you see attribute because whenever you're working with as a selector functions in swift force you need to provide an attribute with object you see and then i'm going to go to create this function with the name has login button pressed and i can see that in a moment the warning will be gone because xcode is happy right now so now we're done creating the button right so when we tap on this button uh, login button on the iPhone so we need to uh, show an alert controller with the two text fields the two buttons like OK button and the cancel button right so for now it is not doing anything if I click on the login button it's not doing anything the best way to debug whether it's button is working or not properly you can simply add a print function you have tapped to make sure that uh, this selector function is working properly and again now what I'm gonna do is if I uh, tap on this button now you can see that it's working it says you have tapped alright so now what we're gonna do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a function which is going to be the uh, named as a show alert function which is going to be the provide func. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and name this function is going to be show alert. That's it. And then we're going to be uh, pass the uh, we're going to accept the two arguments. One argument is going to be the title argument which is going to be the type string. Another one argument is going to be the uh, message argument which is going to be the optional string. And then we're gonna be go ahead right inside this function. We're gonna create a constant called the alert controller. All right. Then it's going to be assigned with the UI alert controller and opening and uh, initialized with this one. Pass the title over here and the pass the message over here and the alert controller style by default is going to be the default one alert. Next, we're going to be go ahead and add a two text fields. For this, we're going to go ahead and call the alert controller, and then we're going to call the method called the uh, add text field on the alert controller. This is the one, so which is going to add a text field to your alert. Then I'm going to go ahead and press the return key, and the configuration handler is going to be the basically the closure. And we press the return key. Uh, it's actually we need to name uh, the UI text field. I'm going to name this as a email address text field as a reference next right inside this so we're gonna be go ahead and configure that text field with a placeholder that's going to be show like email address and then I'm gonna go ahead and also call the um, uh, set the keyboard type is going to be the UI keyboard type is going to be the email address and that's it and we are done creating the one text wheel another text wheel we need to create is called the password text wheel again uh, on the alert controller we need to call this method called again add text field and again we need to add a closure here and press the return key and then here I'm named this as a password text field right here again I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add the placeholder for this password text field also this is going to be the password and then if I say the password text field dot a keyboard type is going to be the UI keyboard type dot ASCII capable. If I go ahead and uh, uh, that's it and we are done creating the two uh, text fields um, that will going to be added to the alert controller. Next what we're going to do is we need to create a two actions. One action is going to be the OK action, another one is a cancel action. If the user clicks on the cancel button, it's simply going to dismiss the alert. If the user presses the OK button, so then we're going to be uh, perform some checking whether the email address and the password entered is correct or not. If it's correct, we're going to say login success. If it isn't, we're going to be go ahead and again ask the user to re-enter all of the details. So for this first, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and call the method on the alert controller, uh, which is going to be the alert controller dot add action, which is going to be the, this one. Basically, it's going to add action to your alert controller. Press the return key again press the return key I'm gonna go ahead and initialize with this one so the title is going to be the okay and the style is going to be the default style 
And at this time, with the closure, uh, rather than doing this uh, kind of the confusion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call the function. Uh, I'm going to create a later on. Uh, what it's going to do is I'm going to simply name this uh, handler. Okay, handler. So, of course, Xcode will going to be compliant for now, and we're going to be create that closure function in a moment. Next, again, we need to create another action by calling the alert controller add action method on it. Then I'm going to go ahead and this time we're going to be set the title is going to be the a cancel and the style is going to be the a cancel and the handler is going to be the nil because we're not going to be doing anything on canceling the alert simply it's going to dismiss the alert automatically so that's it and last but not the least we're going to be go ahead and uh, add this alert controller to the uh, view uh, a view controller simply I call the method called self dot present view controller model if you take a look at this method and then I'm going to simply pass the alert controller and as we need an animation set this to the true and the completion is going to be the nil because on completion we're not going to be do anything of course uh, Xcode is currently not warning us of course there we go you can see the warning is accurate because we haven't uh, created uh, the function named ok handler I'm going to go ahead and copy that I'm going to come here next I'm going to create a uh, function called provide func which is going to be like OK handler. It's going to take an action, uh, which is going to be the type UI alert action, and it's going to return nothing. That means white and explicitly uh, telling the Xcode that this function is not going to return anything. So right now, if you take a look at that, the errors are gone. Xcode is happy now. Now right inside this OK handler function, we're gonna do some checking the uh, checking the credentials. So we're going to check the credentials to so make sure that the entered email address and the password are valid. So for this, what we're going to do is we need to create a uh, text field, uh, which is going to be the variables or properties in this case, because we are creating the variables right inside the uh, classes. That means we're going to call it as a properties. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, create with the email field, just like that. This is going to be the UI text field is going to be the optional and uh, again I'm going to go ahead PWD field this is going to be the password field is going to be the UI text field and then we're going to create a two um, two constants which is going to be the valid email is going to be the um, Apple at apple.com whatever it might be you can name it whatever it might be and the password uh, I'm going to say that valid password is going to be the one two three four that's it and we are done creating the a few constants and properties here and then right here in the ok handler or sorry right inside this show alert method uh, inside the add text field so we're gonna be go ahead and assign the uh, self dot email field with this one email address field same thing we're gonna do with the password also we're gonna simply call the uh, self dot app PWD field and we're going to assign it with the a password field or password text field right now here uh, inside this ok handler function our closure function we're going to call it uh, more specifically and what we're going to do is we're going to some perform uh, some checking so make sure the entered um, email addresses and passwords are valid uh, with the one that we just created so we're going to be if those uh, two conditions match then we're gonna be show a message called login success so here right inside the ok handler function what we can do is we're gonna use that with the help of if uh, for this what I'm gonna do is first what we can do is we're gonna call this self dot valid email address is equals to equals to self dot uh, email text field dot text I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap it with the help of the exclamation mark and and I'm gonna go ahead and call again self dot pwd uh, valid uh, password is equals to equals to self dot uh, pwd field dot text then we're going to print out something like uh, login success else we're going to call the method again self dot uh, I think self dot what is that self dot show alert again sign in into uh, what is that what did I do here sign in into Google account and the message is going to be the nil all 
all right so we are done creating that so we're gonna be go ahead and call this method into the has a uh, login button pressed here so we're gonna simply call that show alert so I'm again I'm gonna title it as I sign in into a login sign in into a Google account so it's going to be the message is going to be the nil so so far we are done creating it I know it might be confusing for you for the first time but it's actually pretty much easy as long as you read the code properly and also don't forget to check the link in the description because I will be adding this code uh, link to this uh, Xcode project uh, you will find that link in the description box down below so there we go so I'm gonna be go ahead and go again uh, through what we did so far so we have uh, created the button login button so we uh, have added that button to the uh, view did load or the view whenever the view loads up so it's going to add that button over there then we have created the a uh, selector function and we attach to the login button when the user uh, presses the uh, login button is going to trigger this function our login button function our login button uh, uh, selector function here and then it's going to call this show alert method with the title sign into Google account and then it's going to trigger this a uh, function so basically it's going to do is it is having a two text fields address email address text field the password text field and it is also having a two buttons OK button and the cancel button so we are attached we are actually assigned that uh, email address text field to the a variable property that we have created named email field and password field the same thing and then when the user uh, presses the OK button so we're gonna call the uh, closure function named OK handler this is going to perform the some checking make sure that the credentials entered are valid and once uh, those credentials are valid then we're gonna show the message called login success else we're gonna keep calling the alert alright so let's go ahead and run this code and you're gonna see the moment of the truth There we go. If I click on the login button, it's going to show like this email address. And if I tap the email address, is going to be the apple at the rate of apple.com. The password is going to be the 1234. If I press the OK button, and you can see there is a message called login success. If I do something like directly clicking on the OK button, it's going to keep calling that met keep calling that alert again and again if I click on the cancel button that's going to dismiss that and what I really wanted to add a, a finally uh, to make the final touch to this uh, video so what I'm gonna do is once the I successful login encounter so we're gonna show an another alert which is showing the login success because as a developer we know that it's actually showing it's a login success so we need to uh, give the present the valid information to the user because user might be confused what the hell is going on here so that's why we're gonna say that login success over there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a uh, function which is going to be the private function again uh, this is going to the show basic alert uh, this is going to be the again we're gonna create a same thing alert controller constant UI alert controller this is going to initialize with this one title uh, is going to be the OK and message is going to be the uh, nil and alert style is going to be the controller style is going to be the alert and then add the action call the uh, OK action we're gonna simply call the OK action Excuse me, I think, uh, oh, title is going to be the uh, login success. And the uh, action is going to be the OK. And the uh, UI alert action style is going to be the uh, default one. Handler is going to be the nil because we're not going to use any handlers in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and present this to the view controller. Simply pass that alert controller. I'm going to say true. On completion, we're not going to do anything. So we have created the basic uh, alert function, which is going to simply say the login success. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this function. I'm going to call on success this function on success. Uh, if the user enters the valid credentials, then we're going to show the alert. So there we go. Last but not the least, this is what we did so far, and this is going to be the final touch of this video. So there we go. If I click on the login button, if I type the email address Apple. At the rate of apple.com, the password is going to be 1234. If I press the return key, it's going to say that login success, which is really, really amazing. And that's it, that's pretty much it. This is how you can create a login, a setup, or login page with the help of the alert controller and the text fields. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. This is Shukumar, and you guys have a great day. Peace out.